Right, so this is my studio PC and I'm gonna just take it apart, show you what's inside, uh, what kind of things I've decided to uh, put into it. And this is really one of my maybe first projects in many, many years building a PC. I used to do it maybe as a kid, but uh, well, things changed and it's a lot easier. So if you're planning to build your own PC, custom PC, uh, I mean, go for it. I think if you have uh, just a bit of technical, you know, kind of uh, approach, you can do it. Of course, few things that I've learned uh, is, again, reading the user manual, reading carefully about all the parts, see what fits what, and the decision was going from top to bottom. So I, I started with a CPU. So that's a core i9, right, 12 gen. That's the 12900K. And it's really cool. I mean, it comes with this kind of thing here. And it used to be inside here, but it's, of course, it's empty. So uh, that's that. And it's already inside then. Let me grab that. Then, of course, I had to uh, find a good cooling system. So this is the Asus ROG LC2 240 RGB, ARGB. And it's important because I managed to uh, kind of uh, fry the uh, LEDs inside, connecting this to the wrong uh, port on the motherboard. And so these are the kind of things that I uh, learned as I go. And the motherboard, which is really important, that's the Prime Z690P uh, Wi-Fi. And when you're deciding on the motherboard, there are a few things that you need to take into consideration. Now, I'm not an expert. There are so many YouTubers going through that and I've watched a lot of the the videos and this one again that works for me because I'm not a gamer and there's a lot of uh, PC building videos talking about gaming and about the parts that are more into gaming but anyway what I really wanted is to have the ability for uh, Thunderbolt 4, which is included in this motherboard. And if, if that's not important for you, well, maybe you can, uh, we can take something else, maybe even cheaper. And also I wanted to make sure that it has Bluetooth uh, and, and that's why it has the Wi-Fi. So um, gamings, um, well, might take some, some other types of motherboards. Anyway, um, also very important. So if you're going to take uh, the RAM as a DDR5, you need to match that to the motherboard as well. So we have the CPU, the CPU have uh, the, the chipset and that's uh, important to match it to your uh, motherboard. And of course the motherboard needs to support the type of RAM that you have. And I chosen the A-Data uh, 48 Hundred U. I hope I. Um, I mean, I hope that's the the model. I'm gonna check it later, and I'm gonna put all the links to all the, these parts in the description of the video, of course. So all these guys have to match. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if you have DDR5 but your motherboard doesn't support that, that's gonna be an issue. And obviously, if your CPU is not supported with the motherboard, that's a big issue. So anyway. That's uh, the motherboard. Um, next, the power supply. So I have uh, the Rogue Streak, uh, 750 watts, and this one is, I think, should be good enough for me. I, I don't even think I need that much of power. I could have selected something uh, cheaper or, you know, maybe 650. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, that was... Uh, I think a good choice. It was really easy to install and really easy to, to manage with the cables. It comes with all the cables that you need and with very uh, easy installation overall. So that's another something. 
and I already have uh, one SSD. I mean, the main SSD that I have is the XPG S72 terabytes, and that's a pretty fast one. And that's the the one that I'm going to install right now. I'm going to open up the the box for you, and I'm going to put that one inside. That's a kind of a secondary SSD, and I also have my uh, kind of I don't know data, not backup, but kind of slack storage uh, that I have. It's a four terabyte SATA drive, which uh, I'm just reusing from my uh, my uh, NAS, my QNAP uh, filer. So that's uh, that's going inside. I need a lot of uh, space. I need a lot of uh, places to put all the plugins, all the libraries. Uh, I mean, I have um, UVI, which is very heavy stuff. I have Arturia. I have whatever, I mean, comes out of uh, native instruments. I have a lot of other contact libraries and well, uh, a whole bunch of things, but I also do the videos like this one and that needs a lot of space. Now, I don't keep everything on the computer itself. I have, as I said, I have a QNAP box uh, with six, six terabyte. So it's gonna, uh, I mean, that, that's where I kind of offload stuff into and I also do a daily backup. So very important stuff if you're, I mean, just keeping things on your laptop or your desktop, you make sure the, the important stuff is backed up and it is uh, carefully managed. So, uh, I mean, take care of that. I hear a lot of people, I mean, just bursting in tears when their uh, hard drive goes um, to a better place, right? So watch for that. and. So some other stuff that I, I've uh, learned along the way is really to uh, make sure to map things before you start. Read the user manuals, as I said, but really before you're diving into this, make sure you're mapping out what goes where and what should be the right order of things. So you go and put your uh, CPU in place, you go and uh, place your uh, RAM. You can uh, decide if you want to put the cooling right away or maybe wait for that later. But one of the very important tips that I got wa watching other videos is to assemble everything or the, the I mean the minimal assembly not inside the case and then make sure everything works and only then take it apart and put it back in the case. Because if something goes wrong, and I, I, I had some issues because I didn't place the RAM correctly, and uh, it took me uh, a few minutes to, to figure it out. But if you have other issues, it's really hard to troubleshoot when everything is in the case and already cabled and wired. So that, that was a very good tip. Now let's go inside, see uh, where that um, additional SSD goes and we'll just have a quick look. Right, so I have the PC all open up and let's go through the, I mean, just a quick overview. So this is the cooling system here. That's a water cooling. And as you can see right now, it's on top of my CPU. And so uh, that goes into the radiator or the, the fan. So this is only two fan system. I think that's enough for my, um, I mean, for my work. It's not a gaming PC. And uh, anyway, these are the RAM. So I have 64 gigabytes of RAM, two um, 32A data, and they're great, very fast, DDR5. Um, I didn't mention the a graphic card. So that's a, a, an Asus 1660S and for me it's pretty um, pretty much what I need. I don't need a lot. I do videos uh, editing sometimes but again nothing fancy and I'm, I don't play with the computer so that's everything I need. And then we also have the SSD, I mean, right here, I have the XPG, that's my main SSD. 
and right here I'm gonna put the new one and let me bring it up so let's open it up that's the the XPG Gaming S11 Pro now yeah some parts here are sort of gaming and I'm sure some folks are gonna say hey you had better alternatives well I'll, I'll just give you a, I mean I, I just got very very good prices on some of the parts I mean uh, way better than um, I mean normally so I, I just had to take those uh, uh, offers so it's kind of stuck inside here and I really want to uh, be gentle about this so let me try and get it out without damaging all right so that's the XPG and I'm going to put it right here so I already have the screw now sometimes um, it's surprising that it comes without that little screw and then you're kind of missing that so I'm gonna just take it away and I'm gonna do this uh, in fast forward and we'll we'll see how it goes when I finish with this so it's really important to use um, screws that uh, I mean screwdrivers that have magnetic tip it's really really helpful otherwise I don't know how you know how would it be uh, possible because it's really hard now one of the things you you need to notice when you when you're sliding the SSD inside its uh, socket, it's going to be like hanging in, you know, some degrees up. Don't force it. Everything needs to go uh, very uh, gently and, uh, I mean, naturally into its place. And now I'm going to just try and screw this back. never force anything so just another uh, kind of overview again so we have the cooling system right here these are the uh, LEDs there they were supposed to be very fancy and show some lights and they have two wires one of them is the power and another one is the ARGB now when I read the user manual and <laughs> let me show you where that is Right, user manual it has uh, the map of everything and you can see all the, the the different sockets and everything else so there's the ARGB but there's also addressable RGB and on the, on the motherboard it's not absolutely clear and I, I don't know I jumped right into connecting stuff probably too quickly and well I got them burned because the the difference is that you have the ARGB is 12 watts uh, sorry 12 uh, volts and the addressable RGB the, these are 5 volts so obviously I uh, screwed up but that's I guess the well yeah, that's how it goes and there was some other things that were uh, kind of hard to do but not very complex uh, like connecting the front panel um, that I have I mean with all you know all the wires and everything the the power button the reset the audio and all that stuff it's very kind of gentle and you need to find those sockets and of course all the other fans so I have these are the front fans only two and uh, here I have the power supply and uh, yeah so we are pretty much ready to to connect everything back and I'm gonna, just going to put the PC into its place right behind my desk. Nobody needs to see it. It's not really interesting. I'm not gaming anything. And that's just what I wanted to say. So if you have any questions or anything about the parts, just let me know in the comments. All right, so that, that was it. That was kind of tour of my PC. And if you want to know anything about this, again, Put some comments and let me know what you think. And if you want to learn more about the stuff that I have installed inside, 
I mean, what kind of plugins, libraries, or uh, I mean, whatever. Again, feel free to uh, put some uh, some comments, and you're most welcome to join my Discord server, the Plugin Academy, where we can talk about plugins, libraries, virtual instruments, and my new plugin shop. So this is going to be huge. I'm building a plugins and virtual instruments shop. And that's a place where you could just go and find your next plugin. I'm uh, collaborating. I'm uh, signing some, uh, some uh, contracts here with uh, some of the well-known companies, some big, some small companies selling plugins and virtual instruments. And it's all, of course, going to be in my website, which is myaudio.studio. So that's a, a legit website that I run. And if you want some special discounts, if you're looking for anything specific, if you're just, you know, need to consult again, hit me on Discord or maybe Facebook and I'll see what I can do if I can get you some discounts or whatever and we can talk about it. So I'll see you guys in the next videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.